Uh, Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am engineer Abdul Basit and we are in week number 7 of uh, the subject hydraulics. Okay, uh, this is lecture number 13, so particularly this is the first part of this week. Okay, uh, the topic is application of hydrostatics. Okay, first of all, uh, let me remind you that in uh, previous few lectures we have repeatedly discussed about the, uh, the hydrostatic phenomena the types of pressure that may be exerted by the fluid are uh, by uh, or on the fluid okay how we will calculate these different types of uh, pressures and then we have discussed the energy conversion as well okay the energy transformation from one form to another form uh, how we will calculate the total head and uh, all that uh, that stuff uh, that was uh, included in Bernoulli's equation as well okay so now let us calculate the hydrostatic uh, or you can say hydrostatic pressures on different types of structures okay so before going into detail uh, let me uh, tell you that hydrostatic actually refers to the fluid at rest okay or you can say water at rest so whenever the water is at rest how much pressure it will exert on the side walls whenever it is in a container or uh, uh, how much pressure it will exert on the uh, on the barrier of a dam when it is uh, when its flow is being stopped in that uh, that dam okay uh, we can take the example of uh, weirs and barrages as well okay uh, in case of weirs and barrages and dams the pressure may be exerted on the main barrier uh, uh, wall as well and on the side bun as well okay so to discuss that practical phenomena let us discuss some ideal situation where we are having uh, some uh, sorts of wall like this okay and the water is accumulated on one side of the wall so uh, how will be the pressure distribution uh, on this wall this let's say this is the barrier of the dam okay which is uh, which is having a uniform cross section throughout and it is um, uh, a uniform cross section uh, throughout its uh, uh, top view and its uh, side view as well okay so uh, here it is uh, the application of hydrostatic uh, uh, already I have discussed few uh, situations like for example we may have this type of situation uh, that is the pressure due to one kind of liquid on one side of the wall for example we are having this wall and the water or any type uh, any other type of fluid is accumulated on one side of the wall so what will be the pressure distribution so this is a first uh, case we will discuss and then we will discuss that uh, for example we are having one wall and we are having two different types of fluids that are accumulated on one side of the wall okay so two different types of fluids refers to those uh, the difference may be in the specific gravity or unit weight of the fluid okay so for example we are having uh, water and oil uh, uh, at the same side of the wall so what will be the situation the water is having a specific gravity a bit lesser than that of the oil so uh, oil will settle down in the bottom and water will be on the uh, uh, on the top side or on the upper side of that uh, oil okay so how will be the pressure distribution now the specific gravity and unit weight of both the fluids is different so uh, that's why the the pressure distribution will also be uh, a bit different so we'll discuss this situation as well then we will uh, discuss that uh, situation where we are having uh, uh, we may have that in the next slide as well uh, that is for example we are having two different types of liquids uh, on both the sides okay for example we are having uh, water on this side and water on this side at different levels okay that may be the situation we may have two different types of fluids at this side and one type of liquid on the other uh, side that may be the right side okay or we may have two different side uh, types of fluid on one side and two different side of uh, types of fluid on the other side so what will be the pressure distribution on this wall this this main barrier wall okay this is what our concern is okay so um, let us discuss that first phenomena first of all uh, here it is pressure due to one kind of liquid on one side of the wall okay so uh, here let me uh, switch to the pen option <coughs> for example we are having this level of water okay this is that level of water over here okay on one side of the barrier uh, 
so the pressure at this point right at the top or you can say at the at the surface of water uh, what will be the pressure over here there will be no pressure because there is uh, nothing uh, on the top of the uh, of this water that can uh, distribute its uh, its pressure on the wall okay so on the surface of the of the water the pressure will be zero okay or you can say only atmospheric pressure will act over here okay then when we are we are coming down okay so the pressure will increase get increased and at this point the pressure will be maximum okay and similarly uh, whenever you are moving upward so the pressure will get decreased and at the end the pressure will be equal to zero at the surface of water so this is what the phenomena is and then uh, this pressure so this pressure distribution is shown over here in the triangular form uh, okay uh, that that base of this pressure distribution or you can say the maximum pressure will be at the base and that will be equal to wh okay what this w is this is that unit weight of water unit weight of oil whatever the fluid is okay and this h is actually the total height okay this total height is h okay then we have uh, this p that is the average pressure okay uh, acting at the centroid of this area of the pressure distribution diagram and the depth of this pressure will be h dash and h, uh, h dash is particularly equal to the uh, centroid of the other you can say the distance of the centroid of the triangle which is 2 divided by 3 h capital H from top okay and from bottom it will be uh, 1 divided by 3 capital H so this is that whole phenomena I wanted to mention now the total pressure this P will be equal to the area of this triangle so what the area will be equal to the area will be equal to 1 over 2 let me write it here 1 over 2 uh, B into H this is the area of the triangle if you do know that okay this B is the breadth so B is uh, here the B is WH okay so that will be equal to WH sorry h okay and then that capital h will be over here okay and uh, similarly this is also capital h okay so you will get this this equation that is w into uh, capital h square divided by 2 this capital h is the is the total depth of water okay so this is their simple situation sorry for this bad drawing i am using my my uh, computer mice mouse for that writing so that may be uh, a bit complicated and then let us solve this simple example using that formula a water tank contains 1.3 meter deep water so this is actually capital H find the pressure uh, exerted by the water per meter length of the tank so per meter length refers to that no need to multiply the length over here okay already the length is equal to 1 okay so no need to uh, multiply the the length because uh, if you consider this wall Okay, this is not that simple wall uh, like it is shown in the cross section it will be like expanded in one direction like this okay so what this length is equal to okay let me clear it for you so that you may understand it here it is this is that length of the wall okay and that length will be equal to that L okay so if that L is taken as unit so that then it will be per unit length okay per unit length of the pressure and uh, if the length is given like for example 10 meter okay so then it will be uh, multiplied with 10 the total area this pressure okay this pressure will be multiplied with 10 this will be the situation now okay so moving on here the length is given as 1 meter h is 1.3 and water is present over here so you know the, the unit weight of water it is constant that is 9.81 so put it in the equation w h squared divided by 2 w is 9.81 h is 1.3 it's given over here and then uh, uh, the rest is the requirement of the formula so here is the pressure okay moving on to the next example 4.2 a swimming pool contains 3.5 meter deep water okay so two things are mentioned over here depth is 3.6 meter okay that is capital H okay and 
water is present over here so unit weight of water is known to us okay uh, one of its side uh, so the situation is like the first condition if the pool is 10 meter wide on this side calculate the total pressure of the water on the vertical side of the pole the pool is 10 meter wide 10 meter wide is actually that length I I was mentioning okay so that should be now multiplied to the total pressure uh, to to find out the pressure distribution on the whole 10 meter width of the wall calculate the total pressure of the water on the vertical side of the pool also calculate the point where the total pressure act on the wall okay so the point should also be determined where this uh, the total pressure will be located okay so h is given 3.5 meter width of the swimming pool is 10 meter total pressure on the wall is p is equal to uh, w h squared divided by 2 so w is uh, the unit weight of water is the the, the liquid is water over there and 3.56 meter is actually the depth so the rest is the requirement of the formula this is that pressure per unit length okay this should be mentioned that it is per unit length okay so if you multiply it with 10 so this will be the total pressure distributed on the whole 10 meter width or 10 meter length okay uh, point where the total pressure act so what will be the point uh, the point will be located at 2h divided by 3 already I have mentioned in the previous slide this this h dash this is 2h divided by 3 okay or uh, you can say the depth of the centroid of that vertical triangle okay so that is 2.4 meter okay from the surface of water you can calculate it in other ways from the bottom uh, as well and that will be then not 2h divided by 3 that will be h divided by 3 so this 2 should be ignored then if you are calculating that position of pressure from the or you can say the point of the application of pressure from the bottom side okay now the second condition may be pressure due to one kind of liquid or another on one side okay so for example this is that barrier and we are having two types of fluid fluid one fluid two okay uh, now we are having two heights h1 and h2 so you can say that h1 is the uh, head of the fluid one okay and h2 is the head of the fluid h2 or you can say depth of the fluid h1 uh, one and two okay and here the unit weight will be w1 and here the unit weight will be w2 this is the situation or you can say specific gravity here is s1 this is s2 so the pressure distribution if you consider this first fluid only this first fluid only so above this this level of the first uh, uh, fluid 2 that is this triangle a d e okay the maximum pressure of this triangle will be the base of this triangle that is d e and that will be equal to w1 h1 am i right okay and then the total area of this tri uh, triangle or uh, total pressure will be uh, 1 over 2 w1 h1 square okay this is their simple thing so this is the total pressure that is p1 <coughs> similarly this pressure this pressure will be continued till the daughter till bottom as well okay uh, because this is that fluid that is continuously present over this uh, fluid too okay so that will exert uh, pressure so never ever at de the pressure will be equal to zero okay because there is some fluid above this uh, level okay uh, unlike this one uh, where there is no fluid over here no fluid over here okay so this pressure will be continued down here so that will be the total uh, maximum pressure that is w1 h1 okay so bf is already determined and fe is again the base of this triangle which is the pressure due to this h2 fluid so this is the base that is w2 h2 okay now the area of this triangle will be equal to that p2 which is 1 over 2 w2 h2 square okay so this is that situation then uh, 
the total pressure or you can say the position of this uh, total pressure will be equal to first of all the total pressure will be the sum of these three pressures p1 p2 due to this rectangle this rectangle okay not triangle this rectangle this is p2 and p3 is again a triangle okay uh, so the, a, the the pressure of this point this uh, rectangular area will be calculated by using the rectangular area determination formula that is the width multiplied by length so width is w1 h1 and length is h1 okay so h1 uh, w1 h1 square okay so that will be the uh, the, the total uh, pressure for you okay so all the situation is discussed over here the total pr pressure will be equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 okay and uh, then we can say that the position of the pressure can be calculated by uh, taking a moment uh, at this point okay due to these areas so moment actually refers to the total area okay that is p1 the total area of this triangle uh, actually we are uh, we are estimating here the the moment of area at point a okay so moment of area due to pressure is p1 is the area of this triangle p2 is the area of this tri uh, rectangle and p3 is the area of this triangle okay so then you can say that p1 multiplied by this length which is 2h1 divided by uh, 2 uh, divided by 3 okay and similarly this p2 is at position h1 plus the 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 half of this db or ef which is uh, h2 divided by 2 so h1 plus h2 divided by 2 and then this p3 will be equal to this h1 plus this distance from here to here and that is equal to uh, 2 h2 divided by 3 and adding it with h1 so that will be the total moment arm for you for this area okay so then that will be the situation now coming to that simple numerical you will get to know each and everything now uh, by discussing that numerical in detail <coughs> you can see here a tank contain water for a height of 0 0.5 meter up to 0 0.5 meter we are having water and an immersible liquid of specific gravity 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 is actually uh, less than that of 1 so you can say specific gravity of that fluid is less than water so water will be at the bottom and uh, that oil will be above that water because it is having less specific gravity above the water for a height of 1 meter okay so it is having height 1 meter that other fluid and the water is having height 0.5 meter okay find out the pressure per meter length of the tank okay not the position of the pressure is required okay you can calculate it uh, by yourself but in this problem uh, if I'm not wrong the position is not required okay so then <coughs> first of all this p1 will be equal to the area of this triangle which is equal to h1 square w1 1 over 2 you can say 1 over 2 uh, uh, w1 h1 square and multiplied by 1 is actually uh, sorry for that multiplied by 1 is actually the width which is per unit length here okay uh, this is uh, this is height sorry this is height the find out the pressure per meter length per meter length so no need to multiply the uh, the length over here because it is already 1 okay so first of all you need to find out wh1 which is this length that de okay so de is wh1 w1 is specific gravity is 0 0.8 we are repeatedly doing this practice to find out the unit weight from specific gravity and that is 0 0.8 multiplied by 9.81 okay that is the unit weight of water so this will be their specific gravity of this fluid uh, that unit weight of this fluid multiplied by 1 is uh, h1 okay so that will give you w1 h1 that is this thing okay then area of the triangle is equal to w1 h1 is already given here it is okay multiplied by this one again okay so this is the pressure for you and in the form of per meter uh, per oh, per meter length okay 
then P2 is actually the area of this rectangle DEBF okay and that rectangle is actually equal to this 7.848 multiplied by 0 0.5 so here it is okay so this is that uh, P2 for you per meter length and P3 will be equal to this thing that FC okay so FC is equal to W2 H2 okay so uh, W2 H2 is given height is given 1 over 2 W2 H2 into height okay or you can say uh, 1 over 2 W1 uh, W2 H2 square okay so this is their situation W2 H2 for you and this is 1 over 2 W2 H2 multiplied by the height so this is that uh, that value of P3 for you so adding all these three values uh, we will get the total pressure that is 9.074 kilonewton per meter length okay coming to that uh, next a bit uh, different situation where we need to find out the, uh, the the position of the pressure as well okay so how we will do it first of all magnitude and line of action of the pressure exerted on the side of a uh, of a tank is required okay that should be find out and which is 1.5 meters square and 1 meter deep okay so that tank is actually 1 meter deep and 1.5 meter square okay so 1.5 meter square refers to that this is a square tank like this each side is 1.5 1.5 okay and so on okay and uh, the depth of this tank so if we look into that uh, that uh, side view of the tank so it will be like this okay and this height is actually from here to here this is actually uh, 1 meter okay and then the tank is filled a half full with liquid having specific gravity 2 okay so half of the tank is filled with uh, a fluid that is having specific gravity 2 while the remain remainder is filled with a liquid having specific gravity 1 okay so this fluid is having specific gravity 1 and this fluid is having specific gravity 2 okay so half of the depth refers to 0 0.5 over here and half refers to 0 0.5 over here and both are different fluids so mm, you have to do this uh, practice again with yourself that is how to find out the unit weight of that uh, fluid which is having specific gravity 1 simply by multiplying it with the unit weight of water okay and again here it is uh, as well okay so then it is that unit weight w1 multiplied by 0 0.5 so you will get w1 h1 okay and similarly the area of that triangle is 1 over 2 multiplied by uh, the w1 h1 multiplied by h1 and 1.5 is actually the length now for you okay each side is 1.5 1.5 so if you are considering only one wall okay so it is having a length of 1.5 or width of 1.5 okay so it's not now per meter length you have to multiply it with the length and that is 1.5 the length okay so you will get this thing okay similarly uh, the total pressure due to the liquid of specific gravity 1 should also be determined in the same way and this is that rectangular area so again W1H1 multiplied by 0 0.5 okay and W2H2 is given over here that simple equation and this is the area uh, of that triangle and that is this one it EFC triangle okay so the area of that triangle is uh, that is W2H2 multiplied by H2 multiplied by 1.2 and you can uh, rearrange that equation as well so that is P3 for you uh, it's given over here now the position should be determined by this way that is taking moment of area about uh, A equating the same okay to calculate that uh, depth H1 okay uh, you can find out the total pressure by adding all the pressures p1 p2 and p3 uh, that is already been practiced in the uh, previous numerical so the total area 
uh, the total pressure multiplied by h1 is what we need to have okay now p1 is at a depth of 2h1 divided by 3 let me clear that slide side for you uh, like uh, you will be able to understand this from here to here okay this is 2h1 divided by 3 this is h1 divided by 3 okay so this is that uh, uh, the depth you need to find out or you can say that uh, position of p1 okay you can consider it as moment arm as well for your target determination of the area and for this p2 this is how much that is h1 plus this depth which is h2 divided by 2 h2 divided by 2 and similarly p3 is at a location h1 plus 2 h2 divided by 3 okay so here it is that same thing p1 is at this location p2 is at this location and p3 is at this location okay putting all the values i am repeating that formulas again and again now you have to use it for um, for putting these values in calculation of h so here only only one unknown is present okay the total pressure is given over here okay p1 is determined p2 is determined p3 is determined all needs to be put it over here and that will be that h for you in meters h that, that is 0 0.7 meters okay so that's all from this uh, uh, that, uh, that first condition okay uh, we in uh, mm, uh, coming few slides we will discuss about uh, some uh, different types of situation that is the third condition okay whenever we are having fluid on both side of the barrier how we will calculate the pressure in that case uh, that will be our concern and uh, mm, uh, we will discuss about practical applications of that uh, hydrostatic phenomena as well okay thank you very much for now assalamu alaikum